Welcome to the channel of Neo Source. Today with a more in-depth video of Neo's battery swap station and its battery as a service subscription model. Neo Power. When it comes to Neo, one of the first things that pop up is the battery swapping concept that Neo is providing. Being one of the most famous technologies of Neo, battery swapping has gotten into a lot of talk. So much that some people think that battery swapping is the only charging method offered by NEO. Of course this is not the reality, in addition to the battery swapping, NEO offers multiple options to replenish the energy of your vehicle's battery all gathered in one big portfolio called NEO Power. Battery swapping makes up a big, but still only a part of the NEO Power portfolio. The idea behind Neo Power is that every user has a range of multiple charging options and to be able to find the ideal charging method for each situation. If you want to check out all the options Neo Power has to offer, please take a look at this video I made showing what exactly Neo Power has to offer. Battery Swap Stations Neo started the battery swapping with their first generation swap station. The sequence is the following. You drive your car to the station and let the NEO worker at the station drive the car into the station to then swap the battery of the car. But in 2021, NEO launched its second generation swap station. The big advantage of the new station is that you only have to drive the car into the marked area in front of the station and the car then takes over and autonomously drives into the station where by the push of a button, the car shuts down and the swapping process starts. The whole process from the start of the car driving into the station until the battery has been swapped takes only about 5 minutes when using the second generation swap station. To avoid queuing in front of the station, NEO added the reservation feature to the NEO app. So you are given a fixed time to when it's your turn to swap the battery. A second generation swap station has a compartment of 13 batteries and is able to swap 312 batteries a day by taking up space of only 4 parking spots. Battery as a service subscription Of course with battery swapping being a rather rare and unique feature in the EV industry, NEO came up with its own subscription model for battery swapping called Battery as a Service or short BAAS. With NEO's Battery as a Service subscription, you buy your NEO vehicle without owning a battery yourself. This means that your vehicle purchase price will be initially lower compared to the car including the battery. In Norway for example, a NEO ES8 with the 100 kWh battery costs 67,000 euros. If you now would buy the same ES8 with the battery as a service subscription, the price of the ES8 drops to 51,000 euro including a monthly subscription fee of 209 euros. So the initial purchase price is 16,000 euro lower without the battery, and it would takes about 6.37 years until you reach the price of the battery by paying the monthly fee. What else does BAAS offer, other than the lower purchase price? You are always able to up or downgrade your battery subscription. If you use your car in town, a smaller battery like NEO's 75 kilowatt hour battery would be more than enough and you only pay a monthly fee of 146 euros as for Norway users. If you plan to go on a longer trip, you simply switch to a bigger battery and back. When a new battery is released in the future, like the 150 kilowatt hour battery by NEO in 2023, you can upgrade your subscription to get your car's range to increase. Like this you are able to increase the range of your car without having to buy a new car to extend range because so far, NEO's batteries are universal and compatible with all its models. In addition to upgradability, NEO offers Norway users two swaps a month and a total of 200 kilowatt hours of energy for free. Also a major advantage is that in case of a defect battery, you don't have to worry at all. You simply get a new one whereas a battery owner, you would have to let it get fixed or even have to buy a new one and cover the costs yourself. NEO is running a diagnosis of their batteries and the cars each time they are swapped, so the system will detect defect or worn batteries and they will be sorted out to guarantee that customers will always get a healthy battery. So it can also update the car's software if it should be not up to date. In Norway there are also currently over 90% of the NEO users who are subscribed to the BAAS model. How does battery swapping fit into sustainability? 
Of course NEO has to own more batteries than there are car owners, which means there is a bigger need in raw materials to match the battery need which is not ideal when it comes to sustainability. Though battery swapping has one big advantage against supercharging. Supercharging your car sounds nice at first glance, but it also comes with some major disadvantage. With supercharging, the current flowing into you battery causes it to warm up significantly. This stresses the battery more than conventional AC chargers. Done from time by time, it won't have a large impact on the lifetime, but using it over and over again will have a long-term effect to the battery range. So do you rather want to charge your car fast, or do you want to expand the lifespan of your battery? Battery swapping combines both of them. You recharge your battery as fast as currently possible by simultaneously ensuring minimal wear to the battery. NEO charges its batteries with adopted speeds and keeps the temperature at a certain point to expand the lifetime of all their batteries. In Norway, not sure about China, NEO charges its batteries to a maximum of 90% to ensure an even longer battery lifetime. After a battery being sorted out, it gets into a second life cycle by being used as a power storage battery for example. NEO is also doing tests with the power grid and its swap stations. During low operations, NEO could stabilize the power grid by releasing energy back into the grid if needed. It could operate like a small power storage, which could help the grid to run more stable. Just take the numbers of battery there are with 1000 swap stations with 13 batteries of at least 70 kilowatt hours. This would be an energy storage of almost 1 million kilowatt hour. Future Outlook NEO currently has 1,011 swap stations worldwide with one outside of China being in Norway, but there will be more stations following with NEO's Europe expansion at the end of the year. NEO plans to build 4,000 stations until 2025 with more than 1,000 outside of China. With the NEO Power Day 2022, there have been photos released of a potential third-generation swap station which would take up only three parking spots and could have an even faster swapping time of under three minutes. NEO owns thousands of patents related to battery swapping, so clearly ahead of the competition and maybe there could be other brands using NEO's battery swap in the future. I linked an article about a potential new swap station below in the description. Today, this was another video that took a bit longer but there is a lot to battery swapping and I tried to mention everything I can by keeping it still quite compact. I still hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments what you think about battery swapping and battery as a service. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest videos about NEO. As I always do is that I wish you guys a nice day.